frisky, fabulous felines strutted their stuff Saturday at the Mayborn Civic and Convention Center. The Austin Cat Fanciers Club, who normally hold their annual championship cat and household pet show in the fall, decided to add two summer shows this year, one in Temple and the second one in Belton. We have 60 exhibitors uh, who brought their cats to the show, uh, and we probably have a, uh, about 45 different breeds represented. Out of about 60 total that are recognized by the International Cat Association. You know, amongst other people who enjoy the same hobby and interest, and you get to learn and share information. These four-legged creatures came in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And some even came hairless, like this Sphinx. Our female is Calista Minnie, and our Bronx, his show name is Schmeckles, because he was named before we bought him from the breeder. But well, we call him Bronx. So it's the perfect kind of cat if you help care for the hair or if you have allergies. Some people say yes, some people say no about the allergies, but for me and my, my younger son, he has asthma, he has terrible allergies. Judging these pampered pets was a difficult job since all cats are perfect in the eyes of their owners. But five knowledgeable individuals took on the task of picking the best. <laughs> The show had five rings, so spectators could pick which one to watch from a variety of judging taking place simultaneously. So by bringing your cat and showing them to lots of different judges, you get feedback from the judges on whether or not your breeding program is successful in meeting the breeding standards. That's kind of the judges looked for flaws and perfections, calculated scores, placed ribbons on cages, and explained how they judged the breed and why they had selected those cats and kittens as the top in their group. That's the trouble. Much trouble. What a great coat because look at that. The white is much longer than the round head. <laughs> so what a great little story. She made, she's a biscuit maker and they're better. The show also included vendors who sold everything from cat toys to cat trees to organic catnip. There was just about anything to keep your cat purring with happiness. Also at the show were rescue shelters from the Humane Society of North Texas and specialized rescues such as this one for Persians. The Humane Society of North Texas okay. actually is based out of Fort Worth. My husband and I are volunteers because we live in Fort Worth, but we also travel to show cats. So we're very fortunate where they allow us to take cats on the road mm -hmm. and to adopt them and to showcase them. And the club was very generous and allowed us to enter some of the kittens so we can kind of showcase them so people who enjoy fancy, who enjoy showing, can see, hey, is that my next show cat? Because we do have people who are looking for the pet in their family, but we do have people who don't breed but enjoy showing cats. The shelter cats were up for adoption and also received a few ribbons in the show since household pets were included in the judging. It was a perfect day to be a top feline, but as the day came to a close, it was time for a cat nap.